going with something a bit different tonight. On the plan, we're meant to be doing threshold training, three intervals of six minutes at 10k race pace with a 90 second recovery in between each. 10 minute warm up, 10 minute cool down like normal. But what I'm actually going to do, I fancy doing a long one tonight, but a bit of a mental day at work. I just want to get my earphones in and go out, a couple of hours on my own, long run. So I'm going to run for four miles, then I'm going to go ahead and do this intervals. See how much energy I've got left after the four miles, the legs will be a bit fatigued, and then see if at that point I can put in the 10k race pace, just to vary up the pace a bit really, see how it goes. Um, and then whatever's left distance wise to run back home, I'm reckoning I'm going to do about 10 miles all in all tonight, so it should be a good one. With the diabetes, I turned my pump down an hour ago, so just a 10% basal running, same as always with me, that seems to work, so I don't really mess about with that. 10% trick of insulin going in me all the time, just to keep things ticking along. Um, 20 minutes ago, took four glucose tablets, got my blood sugars up a bit. As of right now, I'm not too sure where I'm at. It's not bad though. Perfect, in fact, we're looking 6.4 and flat, so that's, you don't get much better than that really from starting out for a run. I'm happy with that. Um, before I start those interval bins, four, four miles into this run, I'll, I'll check them blood sugars again. I might even do a quick video at that point, we'll see how we're going. But if not, we'll catch up at the end, see what, how the run went, how my legs feel, and yeah, we'll catch up. So we're three miles in, it's about third distance, I guess. Um, I've took that faster than I wanted to, to be fair. I was sort of doing it five minute, 30 kilometers, which is nine minute miles, too quick for a gentle warm up run, but it's what it is. Um, just about to start the three lots of interval now. Um, my blood sugar's now, I'm fixed. I stayed at 6.6, .6, so then three glucose tablets I took have just literally held me level there. Without the running, probably would've been up to 12, 13, 14 millimoles my blood sugars so uh, you can see what it does do I'm not quite sure what this interval is going to do now my legs are feeling very heavy at the start of that cramping in the calves and stuff but um stretched it out a couple of k in and yeah the last 3k felt good so I'm going to put a good a good bit of pace on now for six minutes 90 second recovery repeat that three times and then see how I'm feeling at the end of that okay so that's the end of the intervals Three lots of six minutes, sort of at 10k pace, which was pretty hard to be fair. After running sort of 5k to start with, it was to get out the legs a bit. Uh, started showing the blood sugars a little bit, only dropped down one millimole. Um, we're sort of now we are now about 9k into this run. I'm going to take an energy jog now when I finish this bit of the video, um, mainly because I normally take one at 10k anyway, so I've already stopped. I might as well take the energy jog now, push on. I'm going to see this run out, I think I'm probably going to end up doing 10 miles here tonight, which is 16k. Which is good but this last bit last 7k i'm literally just gonna jog it home nice and steady nothing hard let's see how we get on right back to where we started 10 miles later though nice little 10 mile loop tonight um no, it was only meant to be interval stuff but i fancied a long one tonight mentally i just needed to go out a couple of hours on my own earphones in clear my head a bit Running's awesome for doing that. Um, so yeah, we've done 5k, checked in there. Um, then we've done these intervals, sort of three lots of six minutes at the 10k race pace, which is pretty pretty high intensity, uh, with a 90 second break in between each little section there. Did that, um, got to the end of that, needed to take glucose on board, my blood sugars had dropped down to sort of 5.4. Took some an energy gel at that point. Sort of run on another couple of kilometers. Blood sugars started to plummet then, I was down to sort of 4.1 and an arrow down so I had to sort of get some glucose in me. I use glucose tabs for that. Um, quite nice flavour, orange, not too, too chalky. All right, they do the job. Lift you up quite well. Glucose tabs. Nice little thing so they don't get all wet either in that container. It's better than the uh, Dextro tablets so that just get wet with sweat. It's horrible. Um, finished up the run after sort of all that glucose, energy gel, glucose at the start, glucose going low earlier on. Ain't too bad though, 4.9 ever gets itself in focus, there you go, 4.9 and flat, but I do know if I don't keep my temporary basal on this evening, probably right right through till 2, 3 in the morning, I will go low at some point there, um, I took a lot out myself tonight, worked hard at that, um, so yeah, keep that temporary basal on, if my bloods do start to go high, I can always correct that, but if they go low at sort of 1 in the morning, it's, it's fixable, it's just a nuisance, 
Um, so yeah, a couple of days rest now though. I've put a lot of effort in tonight. Gone too far really for a midweek training run, but it was fun.